I've been putting up with this for way too long. All you've ever done is keep me from having fun. You say you know what's best for me, but I hate my life and it's because of you. You do not care about me. You say you do, but you only think about yourselves and what you want. I am done. I know what's best for me and I am not going to let you keep it from me anymore. Your bad parents. Everything you've ever done, everything you are doing, and everything you ever will do is meaningless. If you both died, I'd be happy because at least I'd get my inheritance. I'm leaving. I already packed my car. I just wanted you to know that it's your fault. Love you, son. Miss you. I know I'm already late on the last payment, but I, I just need a week. One more week and I will have the money for you. That's what you said six weeks ago. I need a hundred bucks now or you're out. I already sold my car. What else do you want me to do? I don't care what it takes. A hundred dollars by the end of the day, that's it. Figure it out. Here it is. Derek, how, how are you doing? Words, words. Maybe. No, it, it's just a favor. Just a little bit of cash. I, I'm really close to something big. If you could just get it and then I can pay you back so fast. It'll be so quick. Mm -hmm. Turnips in the sun. Oh. Mm. Yes, I, I know I still owe you from last time. What do you want from me? No, come on. I, I know I said what I said last time, but I really mean it this time. <laughs> and you owe me anyway. Like I set you up with Samantha, and that's going great, right? <laughs> I need this. If I get evicted, it's your fault. Tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be better. Tomorrow. 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 Well, week's up. You got it? I don't got it. 24 hours. Pack your stuff.
haven't done anything with them all weekend. Jacob, we will talk about this after church. But if I don't tell my friends now, Jacob, they won't. After church. But I just... Jacob. Jacob? Go away. I know you want to spend time with your friends, but you haven't been home a full weekend all month. So, home is boring anyway. We want to see you sometimes. I'm your mom. I love you. If you love me, you let me spend the night at Josh's. What can I do for you, sir? Well, I need a car, but I only got four fifty. Well, for four fifty, that's slim pickings, but I got one on the lot for you. What'd you do? It's your fault? Where I see it, there's only two type of men you'll see in a church on a Tuesday afternoon. It's pastors and guys in need of forgiveness. I've done stuff in my life that's just unforgivable. Where if someone did it to me, there's no way that I'd let it go. But I always end up having to go back and, and ask for forgiveness. And sometimes, sometimes they don't give it. But I found that the ones who really care, the ones that really matter, they'll forgive you. They always do.
Jacob? Dad? Mom? Dad, Mom, I, I don't know what just happened. We missed you, son. We missed you. Oh, we love you so much. But after everything I said, I, I don't deserve to be loved by you. You were lost. But now you're home. We need to have a party tonight. Have everyone to come celebrate. Good to have you here. Hey, why don't you go get cleaned up, and we'll uh, we're gonna get ready for that party. Perfect. Yes, we gotta start inviting people. Yes. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> he's back. He's, he's back. Up. All right, where's my phone so I can call? Oh, hey, your brother's home. Levi Jacobs here. I saw. What's wrong? When's the last time that you had a party for the son that didn't insult you and then leave for five years? I've been here gratefully all this time. And you're throwing a party for him? Son, you're always with us. Everything that we have is yours. But it's right for us to celebrate your brother. Because he was lost. And now he's home. <laughs>